Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in digital signal processing. In this video lecture, we shall consider yet another numerical on the design of digital low pass Butterworth filter using the following specifications. So we have given the specification as 3 dB attenuation at the passband frequency of 1.5 kHz, 10 dB stop band attenuation at the frequency of 3 kHz and a sampling frequency of 8000 Hz. With all these specifications, the task is to design a digital low pass Butterworth filter. So let's start with the solution. So what we shall have to do first? First we need to get uh, the frequencies in radians per second. So let me write the same thing. Whatever the frequencies uh, are given, it is uh, they are there in hertz. So now the task is to convert frequency in radian per second. How do I do that? It is quite easy. Omega d, this is with respect to passband, which is equal to 2 pi f. So f has been given. So let me write 2 pi f. What is f? It is 1.5 kilohertz passband frequency. So it is 1500 hertz. So what do I get? I'm going to get 3000 pi radian per second. Similarly, the frequency with respect to the stop band D stands for digital. So these are the digital frequencies in radian per second. 2 pi f again which is equal to 2 pi into bracket. What is f? It is 3 kilohertz. So let me write it as 3000 hertz. So ultimately I'm going to get 6000 pi radian per second. So now we have converted the frequencies, digital frequencies into radian per second. So now let me also calculate T which is equal to 1 divided by F into S. Fs is the sampling uh, frequency which is given as 1 divided by 8000 seconds. Right? So now we have got three steps while designing a digital filter. The first one, the first step is applying pre-warping. So let me write that, applying pre-warping technique. So what is that pre-warping? As I said earlier in one of the videos, while designing a digital filter, the uh, first we cannot design the digital filter in the first go. Whatever we have to design, we have to design the filter in analog domain. To design a filter in analog domain, I need to convert the frequencies to into analog domain. So as simple as that. So in the numerical it is asked to design a digital low pass Butterworth filter with digital frequency specifications. I cannot use those digital frequency specifications while designing an analog uh, filter. While designing an analog filter, I need to pre-warp and get the frequencies in analog domain. So that is what the pre-warping is. For that we have the formula omega a into p, omega a into p, omega a is the frequency in radian per second, p stands for passband, 2 divided by t, this is the formula, 2 divided by t tan of omega d divided by 2. So if I do that I am going to get 16,000 tan of, so what I have uh, omega d, omega d is I have got it as 3000 pi, 3000 pi into t divided by 8000 I am going to get, so everything gets divided by 2, so let me write that 2, yes if I simplify that I am going to get omega a p I would get this as 1.0691 into 10 to the power 4 radian per second. So this is the first one of the first analog frequency specifications. Similarly we also should get omega a into s. Yes. So this is also is equal to 2 divided by t tan of 
omega d into t divided by 2 so what is this 2 by t again I am going to get 16,000 because 2 by 8,000 leads to 16,000 tan of here I have 6,000 pi divided by 8,000 so this entire thing gets sorry for that this entire thing gets divided by 2 so let me write 2 here so solve this further simplifying that that leads to omega a into s is equal to 3.8627 into 10 to the power 4 radian per second so this is the first step wherein I have to get analog frequency specification making use of pre-warping technique in the same step I need to get low pass prototype specification so let me write the same thing to obtain to obtain low pass prototype specifications low pass prototype specifications what are those it is V sub subscript ES VS is equal to omega A into yes VS is equal to omega A into yes divided by omega A into P so I have got these two values just substitute them and I'm going to get the answer as 3.6130 radian per second so we need this to make use in the formula and also the gain stop band attenuation AES which is equal to 10 dB so making use I can get the order of the filter so how do I calculate the order of the filter the order of the filter so here also we have one straight formula epsilon square is equal to 10 to the power 0.1 into 3 minus 1 is equal to 1 the for to calculate order of the filter we have n is equal to log with a base of 10 into bracket we have epsilon square here it is 10 into point 0.1 10 to the power point 0.1 into 10 it is 10 minus 1 gets divided by 1 and whole thing gets divided by we have 2 times log 10 of here we have vs vs we got it as 3.6130 so solving this I am going to get the order of the filter what is the order of the filter order of the filter I am going to get this as 0 0.8553 3 so I, I request everyone to make use of the calculator and get the order of the filter so now what is the order of the filter I need to round it to the next decimal so therefore in step number 2 rounding rounding n up so I need to round it up therefore n is equal to 1 therefore what is HP of yes the low pass prototype transfer function what is that HP of s yes is equal to 1 divided by s yes plus 1 this we get it from uh, Butterworth coefficients so using that I can get uh, for the order n is equal to 1 uh, its transfer function is 1 divided by s yes plus 1 so now I need to apply prototype transformation from 
low pass to low pass from low pass prototype to low pass filter with the required specifications so what i have to do i need to get h of yes which is equal to hp that is the transfer function of the prototype of yes wherein yes needs to be replaced with yes divided by omega a and this is with respect to required low pass therefore here i am going to get 1 this gets divided by so what do we have s plus 1 s being replaced with s divided by omega a p omega a p plus 1 so ultimately I'm going to get omega a p this gets divided by s plus omega a p so what is that so just substitute the value of omega a p which we have got which is 1.0691 into 10 to the power 4 this gets divided by s plus 1.0691 into 10 to the power 4 so this is the transfer function of an analog low pass filter for the required specification now moving on to the last step finally making use of finally using the bilinear transformation BLT method we are going to get the low pass Butterworth filter H of Z which is equal to H of yes and uh, what should I replace S yes, with? S yes, with 2 divided by T into bracket 1 minus Z inverse. This gets divided by 1 plus Z inverse. So if I do that, I'm going to convert the given analog filter into its equivalent digital filter. So simplifying that leads to 1.0. 0.691 into 10 to the power 4 plus 1.0691 into 10 to the power 4 z inverse in the numerator similarly we have got a term in the denominator so let us write what I have got in the denominator as 16,000 minus 16,000 Z inverse plus 1.0691 into 10 to the power 4 plus 1.0691 into 10 to the power 4 Z inverse. So simplifying this further, ultimately I'm going to get the transfer function of a digital Butterworth low pass filter as 0 0.4006 plus 0 0.4006 into Z inverse in the numerator that gets divided by I'm going to get a term in the denominator as 1 minus 0.1989 Z inverse so this is finally we are going to get the digital Butterworth low pass filter this is going to be a transfer function and with this it is end of the numerical I have considered a very important numerical to design a digital Butterworth low pass filter using the specifications so I have explained everything step by step I hope you people have understood if you still have any other doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and I'm happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching